Today, I'm going to show you how to make a typography using PowerPoint, okay? First, we're going to insert the text. I'm going to type my channel Learn with GenP. Change the font and the font size. But as you can see, the line spacing is defaulted to 1, so I'm going to choose multiple and change to 0.75. Insert a rectangle shape and then change the shape fill to red. That's my option. And then the line is also red. And then send to back. Then I'm going to group them by pressing Ctrl G in your keyboard. And then insert a line. And then uh, change the width to 5. And the color to white. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D in your keyboard and rotate to 90 degrees. Duplicate it again. So you're going to make a rectangle shape or the box. We're going to use PowerPoint for this kinetic typography. Now let's add an animation. Then choose wipe. And the effect option is from left start with previews and then duration is 0 0.75 and then click the arrows add animation and then the effect option is from top choose start after previews duration is 0.5 And then the effect option is for the second arrow is from left and do the same to the third arrow start should be after previews duration is 0.5 and this time from right Okay, next is I'm going to type typography. Let's type typography and then change the font and the font size. And then add an animation, choose fly in, and then from right. And then start should be after previews and duration is 1. Next, let's insert another text and 
type kinetic Change the font and the font size. I'm going to move that uh, away from the typography because the animation is a drop down. So I'm going to add a background rectangle shape. Change the fill to red. And send to back. Duplicate it. Okay, you have to group that by pressing Ctrl G in your keyboard and then you can rename it with Kinetic and then duplicate by pressing Ctrl D and then rename that to Tutorial Let's go to animation pane, then add an animation, press lines, and then as you can see the red arrow, you adjust it just above the typography. Start should be after previews and duration is 1. Next, click uh, the tutorial and then add an animation, then lines, adjust the arrow just below the typography. Start should be with previews and then duration is 1. Adjust the tutorial just beside the kinetic because uh, later we are going to hide the two words. Next, let's insert a rectangle shape. We're going to hide the two words and then change the fill, shape fill, with the same color of your background. Go to animation pane and let's try this. Next, click the word typography and then let's add an exit animation fly out. Star should be after previews and duration is 1.
Now let's click the kinetic and then adjust the effect option. Don't forget to click auto reverse and also do the same with the tutorial. Click auto reverse. That's a uh, click the arrow down and then effect options and the smooth out is one second. There you have it. I hope you learned something new. Next time, I'm going to show more of kinetic typography.